I scheduled that right where I needed to schedule it, wasn't it? Well, let's start uh, first game. You fell behind 2 nothing. You came back. You had the lead going to the 7th. Things didn't go well. Marshall takes the lead, but your girls respond. Lane starts the inning off, gets you going. You eventually tie the game as they're trying to intentionally walk Natalie Land, and then you win the game on a squeeze play by Kelly Todd. Tell me about that inning. Yeah, well, just in that inning, we, we knew we had to get some things rolling. Um, you know, we've left a lot of lot, lot of runners on base in the past games, and we were even um, leaving a lot of runners on even in this game. And uh, we just felt like that was an opportunity that we could we could uh, at least get run run across. It was a, a, a a sketchy play to, to begin with because it's an easy double play, um, especially with Kelly at the plate. And, and I just felt like Kelly wasn't seeing the ball real well. I knew she was just needed kind of a, a break right there. And, and as you can tell, she wasn't in the second game. Yeah. Um, we, she just needed kind of a break there. And so I felt like that was the opportunity with speed on, on third base that we needed to take that chance and, and squeeze her in. And I tell you, Kelly did it no better a bond could you have done than, than she had in that game. She did a nice job of laying down exactly where she needed it and getting that one run across to, to help that first game. But it was definitely a team effort overall in both those games. <laughs> That's the understatement. Second yeah. game, you fall behind 4 nothing. You bring in Ashley Schmidt, does the job. Your senior steps in. You have to play Deanna Rojas at left because you're shorthanded. You decide, though, to call up Haley Douglas's number to hit, and boy, yeah, that's why you that's why you won all those games. Yeah. Got two hits <laughs> yeah. for you. Got two RBI double yeah. there. They really got your game, got you back in the game. Well, that was probably an easiest call I've ever made in my life because that was the only person I could put in that but spot. See, so it, it sounds like it was a great Listen, intelligent I'm, move. Here. Yeah, it was. It worked. <laughs> so I appreciate right? that, Eric. Um, but we, we knew Haley, you know, she, she was going in there with injuries, too, and it was like the uh, – <laughs> The least of the injuries going in that in that position, and and she did a great job of getting that little blooper behind second base to to score two and and get us ahead in that game, and then being able to lay down that bunt when we needed to, and, and actually bunt for a hit. I mean, that was a great job of her getting that ball down and getting on in that situation. So um, I'm really excited for her. You know, she had some good good at bats and, and got a chance to, to get in the game and, and feel good about um, contributing to the team. You know, she did a nice job in that game, but. You know, you look at both games like that, and, and with as many people we've moved around and Dero in left field in that second game and, and having Haley in the lineup, it, it was definitely a true, true team effort in both those games. And, and I'm so proud of the girls on being able to not see that as a disadvantage of where we were, but be able to step up and do what they needed to to make, make, the, make the game our game. And that's the thing. I mean, you get two wins shorthanded. Marshall Scrappy could have fought back. You win both games. You get to 500 in conference shorthanded. And the girls, I think, learned some today that every player literally contributed with your shorthanded, with Abby out, Kelly out. Uh, but you fought back. You found a way to win both games. They did. And, 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 and I see what the players right now, we talk about this all the time, on, on kind of let the game develop. You know, before, early in the season, we were just trying to make something happen. We were a little too anxious on the bases and, and running ourselves out of a lot of plays. And, and they're learning now to be patient, to trust each other, to trust the hitter behind them, and, and just do the little things right. And, and you saw both games today that, that they did that. They weren't trying to push too hard on the bases. They were getting the singles when we had a single and, and sure. not doing crazy things like we had in the past. So I was real proud of them how they just they, they kind of relaxed. They trusted themselves, trusted each other, and they did a great job today. And it helps to have a player like Natalie Land, who is healthy, uh, thankfully, and uh, ties yeah. the game up in that second game. Making a really, I think, a strong argument for Player of the Year in the conference with her numbers, the way in the defense she plays. I think you can make an argument. She needs to be considered for Player of the Year. Absolutely, and and even Player of the Week. You know, we, sure. we've had very very few players on on our lineup. Anyone, in fact, so far this season that has had Player of the Year accolades for the Conference USA, and and she's definitely one that at game in game out, she's just so solid. Going three for three in that first game, and and just getting key hits in the second game. You know, she, she's definitely one that should be up up with uh, the conference player of the week. Vanessa Perez, I thought, looked very good at the two spot. And sometimes when you're forced to make some adjustments in the lunch, you may find some things you did not know. And I think Vanessa's earned some at-bats at that two spot. I thought she did the handle the ball, uh, play she well. She really did. Got a big RBI hit, got some good bunts down, makes contact, has a good eye. And maybe you found yourself a two-hitter there. Well, I think she does so much, too. Like you talk about being able to lay a bunt down when we need to. Sure. And, and she's, she's fine in her swing right now. She looks... So more, so relaxed at the plate now more than she had in it earlier on the season. Um, she's trusting herself and, and getting those line drives, getting those hits that she needs. And, and I, I, I feel good about it in the two spot. I think you're right. I think she's she's really getting a chance to move in there to a position that's, that's going to contribute to, to help us out in the top of the lineup. you got one more tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern. It's right. a two-part question. Number one, will you be any healthier going into tomorrow? And then number two, the mindset going in. Now, you try to get a sweep, but you know it's a Marshall team that they're going to be desperate. They're going to come out to win because they need wins to try to make the conference tournament. They're going to battle. Coach Stan and Williams are very uh, competitive. They're going to compete. 
What's the approach going to tomorrow, and are you going to be healthier tomorrow? Well, I, I don't foresee us being any healthier than we were in the last game. Okay. But I, I feel like the way that we played in that last game um, and, and focusing on what we can do, um, the biggest thing we've done in the past is just being relaxed and trusting ourselves and not so much of going, what can we do to beat this team, is more of what can we do to, to do what we need to do at this moment, at this pitch, at, and with this ground ball, and, and trying to keep it one pitch at a time, one moment at a time. And, and everything we talk about on slowing the game down, I think as long as we stay focused on what we need to do out there, we'll be in good shape tomorrow. With or without the injuries, we'll, we'll be in good got shape. Got a battle on there. Uh, Coach Cromwell came by, said hello, was oh, on the great. air, and uh, you get a nice another win. So Thank every you, time man, we have coaches, it. we need wins yeah. there. Uh, so we, we need to get them out more often. I think we've got a lot of good luck whenever they come out. I tend to fans. agree. We definitely need someone. All right, Coach, congrats on the Thank win.